Well, greetings from the eccentric man. Uh, don't often give you a picture of myself, but here I am. Um, not very well shaven, actually, but uh, there we go. Uh, popped into my local game store today, and uh, lo and behold, what do you do when you're in there? You buy stuff. Uh, and uh, they've just had the delivery in from Warlord Games for Operation Sea Lion. So I had a little bit of it in there to see what uh, was going on. We've got an introductory evening on uh, Monday the 24th at Lost Ark Games in Stevenage where we're going to be playing on, not actually C, Operation Sea Lion, but we're going to be playing a game of um, um, Nijmegen, I think it is, or Arnhem, because we've got the big bridge, uh, and I've got to look, look out 500 points and 1,000 points of uh, Falsham Jaegers and Grenadiers to, to run on that one. And then on the 29th of July, on Saturday, we have the, the start of Operation Sea Lion um, as the summer offensive at the store. So I'm signed up for that, so I'll have a game on that one, uh, and that should be fun. So what did I see when I went into the store today? Well, uh, on that, um, what we had was, um, I'm not sure if you can see it very well there, which is the spies. Uh, it's the two nuns and the uh, other agents, so we've got that. Uh, but what else we got? I think that was back to front then, probably on the, um, on the video. Uh, but we also saw, which I didn't know that they did, is the footsaw miniatures. And I've got three packs of the footsaw miniatures. Uh, I've got Bertie and his butler. Uh, and I've got two unit, two packs of workers' militia. I'll go through them and open them up and we can have a look at them and see what they're like in relation to the Warlord Games ones, because these are the first footsaw miniatures I've seen. So I've got that. Um, and I've got Bertie and butler. Bertie, uh, I'll, I'll look at it on the video and uh, go through it. So... Uh, I'll uh, finish off here now and zap into um, the other mode for the camera. So, see you soon. So, let's start off with Bertie and Butler. Uh, and there they are. Uh, I think Bertie has got the uh, Tommy gun. And the Butler has got a Lewis gun. But we'll uh, open it up and we'll have a look. Uh, same quam packs as you'll get for the Warlord stuff. Same render bases. There we go. White metal, once again. And we've got the butler with his Lewis gun. That's very nice. Yeah. Bit of lines down the side, flash lines down the side, but they'll uh, they'll come off. Uh, a little bit of flash in the uh, the gap between the legs, but that won't be too bad. So that's uh, Bertie the Butler. Yeah, I like that. Face is good. That's going to come up well with a bit of paint. And then we've got Bertie in his plus fours. Uh, yep. So uh, just in from the golfing. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I like that. So they are going to be, well, uh, Bertie, of course, will be my lieutenant for the, uh, for the unit, for the home guard. So he'll be uh, there. And the Lewis gun is obviously there as the uh, light machine gun. And then I've got two packs of the um, workers' militia. Let's just put those up there for the moment. Uh, yep, so we've got workers' militia. Uh, that's the code number for it. So four figures in there. It was £6 a clam for four figures. So we'll throw them out onto the table. So bases are standard. So four figures, one advancing, one firing, and he's in a beret. Uh, got a bit of equipment there on his belt. Uh, 
and a little pack and a mug. Yep, yeah, it's very nice. A couple of little mold lines, but uh, they'll scrape away. I'm not sure what sort of hat this chap's got. <coughs> It actually looks like either what we would call a bucket helmet. Um, and these were either for firemen or for police. The police had uh, two different types of helmets in the UK. You had the custodian helmet, uh, which is uh, what you sort of would normally see for the Metropolitan Police uh, and most of the county police. Uh, I was in a county police force, Hertfordshire Constabulary, and we had the custodian helmets. Uh, we didn't have the bucket ones. Uh, Kent Police, City of the London Police, they had the bucket helmets. Uh, so that that will be a painted up as a police helmet, I think, that one there. So, yeah, got a bit of the webbing on it and the uh, equipment. So that's quite nice. This one's got flat cap. A rifle. And the uh, belt and webbing. Yep, flat cap as a worker. So, uh, yep, my home guard force will be recruited from the local factory. Um, obviously, I need a whip it now for a guy with a flat hat. That is uh, very uh, UK ish. Uh, people uh, in the Midlands and up north uh, have whippets and flat caps. That is the stereotype. Uh, it doesn't really work so much. I've got three whippets and I don't have a flat cap, and I live in the south, but there you go. Uh, next one up, uh, another cap, and it's got a rifle, bag, a knapsack, with a mug, always got to have the mug as a British of British soldier for your tea, uh, so yeah, that's uh, the four of them, I've got the same pack, so it's going to be duplicated, so no problem with that. Ruffle them around. So that'll give me a squad of uh, 10. Or 8 even. And an office, and the officer is Bertie. Or the NCO is Bertie, whichever way it runs. But yeah, they'll be my base unit for uh, the Home Guard. So, uh, yeah, they're not bad. I think I'm going to enjoy painting those, and they're going to look pretty good when painted up. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the last pack that I got... You can hear the clam pack being opened up. Yes, Operation Sea Lion, Enemy Agents, World War Two, and uh, this was this is very interesting. Uh, this is packed by packed for you by Becky M. Uh, so at uh, Becky M at Warlord Games, thank you very much for packing them. So let's clear these out for, away for a minute and see what we've got. So we've got our got one spider overcoat. One spy in a suit with a pistol and a bag, and then just nearly went and dropped it on the floor. We've got the uh, ubiquitous nuns. So two nuns, uh, two agents dressed as nuns. <laughs> One's got a pistol, and the other's got a telescope behind their back. Or it could be a potato masher. I'm not quite sure. That looks a bit big for a potato masher, perhaps. Oh, get a bit of shine there. Telescope, potato masher. I don't know. But, yeah, two nuns. 
so they are going to be my spies. Um, Panza Mum, uh, if you, you can check, check her out on Facebook, uh, she's got a blog and uh, also on Twitter, Panza Mom, that's uh, M O M, she's American. Uh, she's been doing bolt action, she's a little bit of bolt action, um, skirmish. So I think each per each member of the uh, squads that you had had their own dice. So I'm wondering whether I can do something like that with these. So uh, the home guard are trying to root out the uh, the spies. So whether I have one or two spies, I don't know. Uh, obviously the uh, the spies will have to be elite uh, um, veterans. So we'll uh, we'll have to think about that, and then obviously the home guard will just uh, be green or uh, inexperienced. So we'll, we'll have to have a, a think about that, how that might work. Yeah, but that was what I got. Um, a start of a bit of sea line. I haven't got very much of it at all. So uh, these are the bits. So how do these uh, measure up to the foot saw? That's the uh, that's an important thing. Seeing I've got both of these, bought these. So we've got. Um, Bertie with his uh, Lewis gun, so that's not bad, that's pretty good. Uh, not too bad size difference. Uh, put him next to the other spy. The, uh, the nuns are quite chunky in comparison. But not overly uh, small. That nun's a bit bigger. But, um, yeah. Should blend in all right. Obviously, he's just part crouched down, but um, I've got a trapped nerve, not trapped, no, possibly trapped nerve, but an impingement in the right shoulder. So I'm having a great deal of difficulty leaning over the uh, iPad. Um, yeah, so I think size-wise, they're not going to be too bad. They should fit in with my English. Uh, plastic warlord figures quite happily so yeah so they should be fun so watch the channel for those being painted uh, it's going to take a little while I think to get into those because uh, I'm just working my way through a unit of galloping major French militia for the French Indian Wars so I'm just putting the base coats on these at the moment and uh, once I've put the base coats on, it'll be a light tone wash and then highlight the... Uh, ah! As the cloth's got to come down a bit lighter for them. Not shaking away there. Ah! That's a little bit steadier. Yeah, so uh, Galloping Major, Militia. Uh, if you are interested in the French and Indian Wars, uh, head on over to Kickstarter at the moment and have a look for Galloping Major. They uh, have a Kickstarter on at the moment for French Marines of the French Indian Wars. Uh, it's already hit its um, target and it's also hit its first uh, stretch goal. So um, worth coming into if you're into the French and Indian Wars because the first stretch goal was the introduction of the... Um, French line infantry in coats, so that's going to be good. So that will uh, pack out the the units for that. So still working through that. These ones will be uh, the next unit finished, and I've got another eight Marines to paint up, and a unit of ten American provincials to paint up. So that's uh, where we are at the moment with painting. Um, not got much other bolt action stuff on the go. But certainly a bit more now for uh, this little bit of Operation Sea line And obviously getting bits ready, uh, workout army lists for the upcoming summer offensive at the store. So uh, um, Lost Art Games is my local club. That's where I go down every now and again. Um, you can check them out online. They're on Facebook. They've got their own website. And they do online sales. So have a look them up. Lost Art Games in Stevenage. So... Let's, uh, so on. that's where I am at the moment uh, with the bits and pieces that I'm doing and um, trying to sort out uh, a date for a bolt action tournament 
at Lost Art Games in Stevenage uh, for November, looking around about November the 4th I think it is, uh, it's going to be 1250 points, um, going to be called November Pain, so uh, if you fancy coming along to that and you live in the UK and you're close by, um, it'll go up on their website very shortly and you'll be able to get tickets for it, I should imagine it's going to be much the same as it was £10 last time. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, all from uh, the eccentric man at the moment. So uh, speak to you soon, and uh, got another battle report that's uh, pending to go up. I've just put the latest one up with uh, Andy, uh, who I've been playing against. Uh, his first uh, bolt action game for uh, some time. Well, first bolt action game, but his first war game for some time. So um, if you like the video, please do, uh, even if you saw me. And um, like if you do, share if you would, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some more bits and pieces up on the, uh, the site and up on Facebook and YouTube as we go along. I do have a Facebook page, so if you wanted to have a look and join on to that, please do so. Uh, just join up and I'll uh, accept you on in. So, until next time, take care.